What's going on YouTube? Trying to life here. One more time, guys. You think you can't, you think you get away? It take you down to another notch, man. Look, man, check this out, guys, look. Something under there leaking now. I'm finna get up on there and find out. Now, if it's a brake chamber, I can't do nothing with that. If it's a valve, I probably better do something with that. But let's just find out right now, guys. Let's get up on the hand seat, man. I really don't feel like getting up under there, guys. Totally don't feel like getting up under there. Really, truly don't, but. All right, it sounds like it's coming from the back. Back there somewhere. All right, sound like the noise. Sound like it's going away, guys. I get up on this, sound like it's going away. It's up here somewhere, I think it's this valve. See, it's going away. This is the air, this is the drain, the tank. But it's leaking up under here in this valve, okay, so. It's not a brake chamber. It's somewhere with this tank. I think it's leaking from up top. <sighs> anyway, guys, I'm, I'm under here now, man. I don't even. Guys, I don't even. Man. Anyway, the good news is it stopped. Bad news is I don't know if it's fixed, man. But anyway, it's good enough to get up the road. You know what I'm talking about? I want to get up here and show you guys. But anyway, it's up down here, man. Sometimes this valve right here, guys, I'm glad I can see it. Look, hold on. I'm on there now. I want to make, a best, make it the best of the video. You know what I'm talking about? There's sometimes they got one tank, sometimes they got two. Like, this is one air tank right here. That's another air tank right here. This is coming from the ground up right here. Because back there is the front of the truck. And this guy's flying out the road. It's a long line getting out the rear yard right now. So I ain't in a rush to get in the line. But anyway, sometimes, guys, like when you're, so you hook up to a trailer, right? And um, or a container. You hook your, your air up to it, and sometimes you hear air leaking in the back. One thing you could do when you come back here, if you want to do it, some guys not willing to do this, but if you want to get up out them jams to get up the road, man, I would do this. You got to change your clothes. If you got GQ'd up, you might not want to do this with GQ, GQ clothes on, baby. You might want to get your uh, your work out. You know what I'm talking about? So what you could do is, if the air coming back to the thing is leaking out, get up under here. See, look, this is the front. These are the front two brake chambers. These the uh, these are two rear brake chambers right here. This is the back of the this is the back of the, the trailer. The DOT bumper and all that stuff right there. You know, so I'm kind of looking at it from back here. So this is the back. This is the front. But you want to get up under here. Sometimes it's, sometimes this valve is sitting up there, sometimes it's sitting right here. Or sometimes it's sitting, it usually sit like right up in here or back here. This got two tanks that are sitting on this tank right here. I don't know if it's one on that one. It might be one on that one too up there. I'm not sure, but guys, but anyway, if it is up there on that, valve, on that tank up there too, it'll be back here too. So anyway, back here. A lot of times, guys, the early got scared and ran away. I'm glad, man, because I don't, I don't need that smoke. But I'm already down here, though. I'll just come to assess the situation. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta be scared with the air leak. You ain't gotta be scared, man. I'm back. All right, see this little, this little valve right here? Look. Blah, blah. Blah. What was that? I left them over there drop it. So, oh, that's him over here. Get to that box right there. Okay, that's what's going on. But I said, his noise, man. I see his noise, man. I'm gonna go for a ride with this trailer, baby. Hold on for dear life. You know what I'm talking about? Soon I'm gonna be driving my truck away, you know what I'm talking about? Anyway guys, right here, the whole purpose of the video was to see what the air leak was, but since I'm down here, I might as well mention this. A lot of my older videos, I did this guys, I don't do it much lately. I figure it's already on the channel and I wanna grow doing different things, show you guys how to do different things. But anyway, look for this valve right here. It has a red line going into it, has a blue line coming off of it, and it has the lines going to the brake chambers. This is how you can identify this valve right here, this is a valve. This line go to a brake chamber, that line go to a brake chamber. Emergency service. 
See this right here? Especially in the winter time, guys, right here. This valve will leak from right here. A lot of times. So if you hook up to a trailer, a container, you hook up your emergency line to it, and you get air coming from here, you do like this, like from there, get you a little hammer. Now imagine, don't use brute force with this, because this is a valve, and you don't want to damage the valve, you just want to get about this jam, you know what I'm talking about? And stuff is falling on my head right now, my Anyway, right here, sometimes that valve leak right here, guys. What you can do is, take a little hammer, give it a little tap, like a little pop, 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 pop. You know what I'm saying? Don't hit it, don't, don't brute force it, because you don't want to break it, and nothing's going to work, you know what I'm saying? But it's probably right here, or it's probably one in front of this tank. Sometimes they both be leaking if it's two. But either way it go, just tap it. When you tap it, it'll close that valve. Like, I got it on my older video, guys. I think I think I did on that video where uh, I was talking about uh, I wasn't feeling the rear that day. I think I did it on that video, guys. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's on the channel somewhere. Another one, another way you kind of get this uh, valve to close sometimes without getting a bundle here is when you go up. Oh no, guys. It's a different type of valve, guys. That ain't the same one. The one back there is the one I'm talking about. Not this one. This is the one in front of the air tank right here. Man, which way should I go? I go this way right here. Sometimes, guys, you know what, hold on. You found him a parking spot. Oh yeah, found your parking spot, driver. Don't hit that chassis there, driver. Don't you hit that chassis, man. All right, so check this right here, guys. Right here, as usual. But sometimes, guys, what you could do is, is you could, uh, to get that valve to close sometimes, the emergency line up front, I don't feel like going up here, guys, but I'm gonna do it. To get this valve to close sometimes. Now, when you do this, make sure, when you do this, guys, make sure your tractor brakes are set or that landing arm is down when you do this. Let's say you got, when you, when you run air to the back, make sure your tractor brakes are set or your, your landing gears are down so this won't roll away with, with you and the truck. You know what I'm talking about? I just do it so I don't like doing things twice. So I put my air while I'm out here, that way I ain't gotta go inside the truck. Push in my emergency valve and my truck, the trailer won't go nowhere because I got air leaks. So right here what you can do is, to see if that, get that valve to close sometimes, sometimes you can put it on there like this. I ain't gonna do it because I don't want the leak again. But sometimes you can do it, you can, uh, if the valve leaking, take this off, you hear pssst. It will stop the air from going to the back. When it's out there from going to the back, you can put it right back on. Sometimes that uh, that little release of the valve back there, that pss, it'll seal that valve, guys. The one I showed you guys. Or you can just go in the truck and pull the uh, the, the emergency glad hand valve, and then you pull it, and then push it. I like doing it from out here because you get a chance to see it in real time if that valve actually closed. Because from right here, you can hear that valve closed now from right here. But right now it's off, guys, so it's closed. So there's a little tip, guys, if you're doing real, doing a can game, you might want to make sure you uh, you learn this little stuff like this, guys, because somebody would either left this box or they probably took it to the shop, to the propeller line. And that's why I say, I, before I pull the trigger on, like, man, I got an air leak, man, it's messed up. I got a bunch of that, guys. And be honest with you, I did not feel like doing that. I ain't feel like doing that. But if you want to do this game, this rail game is going to be a lot of a lot of groundwork, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't just no steel rail holders around here, guys. You got to put that work in, baby. I ain't going to say that's light work. Yeah, I am. Two words, baby. Light work. Anyway, I'm glad it stopped leaking, so that's one less thing for me to have to try to fix, guys. Because I knew I sounded, I heard the sound, I could kind of tell the difference between the sound of a brake chamber and a valve. You can hear the sound just sound, it sound kind of different to me. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, let me get a closer look. If it's a brake chamber, and I'm in a yard, I ain't finna, I don't want that smoke. If I'm, on, if I'm on a highway on the side of the road, it's a brake chamber? Hmm. And I ain't gonna say on here what I do, but I definitely, I definitely get up off the side of that road, i tell you that. Legally. Always legally, guys. But anyway. So why, YouTube? I forget about it, man. I feel hop in that long line, try to get out, man. 10 20s, 10 gang, baby. Don't like these things, man, but they're part of my life right now, so whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But anyway, so I, right, YouTube, hope this video was helpful. Give you a little understanding of the air gang, air leak gang, air leak can gang. 
Oh, what's going around, chill? And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.